not squinting so I can focus. Go, is it helping? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daddy, what are we doing today? Alright. Welcome back. Today we're going to assemble the galley shelf and get it ready to install. And we're going to sand the inside of the camper shell and prep it for resin. And uh, we're going to fiberglass all the hinges parts and get them ready so they can be installed when it's time and it's just stuff to work on and little things that need to be done will take time to do them uh, anything else we get into you'll see it on the film so sit back relax enjoy your favorite beverage and we'll see you in a bit what what I forget
resin coated the inside top of the camper. We have constructed the shelf with the catcher ledge and we have fiberglassed the <clears throat> hinge pieces. So next week we'll get in here, we'll turn this thing upside down on top of the trailer and bolt it down. <coughs> Finish these hinges up, install the shelf, and uh, probably get around to, if we're froggy, building some door frames and some doors. Ooh, look at that face. <laughs> so, I uh, hope you've enjoyed. By all means, continue asking your questions, continue commenting. We'd love to hear from you. Ooh. There goes the big truck. Big truck. <clears throat> and uh, how many hours we got today? It is 12 o'clock. Okay. Started at 10.30. Okay. So if we, well, I actually started about 10 tinkering, so two hours extra now. Okay. So, and that's where we're at today, and it's hot, and I'm going to go get a drink. All right. Iced tea. All right. All right. Say bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> what are you doing today, Daddy? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're going to see about installing the shelf. Okay. And bolting this camper on top of the trailer. Okay. And if there's anything else we feel needs to be done, we're going to do that too. Okay. okay. So we've discussed how we're deviating from the instruction book installing the shelf. They said to do the roundovers and epoxy it before installing it and let it cure and sand it and all that stuff, but we're just not going to do that, right? Well, we're going to do it, but in a different order. Okay. So it's going to be interesting. Okay. If there's a way to mess it up, I can do it. We'll try it, huh? <laughs> okay. All righty.
What do we got, Dad? What do we got? Something to lean against. What? <laughs> okay. Check it out. Check it out. We're slowly getting there. All right. What did we do today, Dad? All right. We put this shelf in. Okay. And fiberglass that and wood fillet. Gonna... And yeah, we also please. set a couple of finishing nails here on the outside on both sides to help hold it in place. Okay. Then we flipped it upside down and bolted it to the trailer. So that is done. Now what's left is working on door frames and doors. Okay, and that's what we've got going on over here. Uh huh. Sanding it really nice, uh, putting in the vent fan on the roof, the muffin fans on each end, and just stuff. Door hinges and gaskets and all the fun things. So, but that's for another day. We've put in five hours today. And also, I assembled the trailer off camera, and that's not very hard. It's a tinker set, rector set. So I spent about eight hours making sure everything was plumb and squared and tight and torqued and, and ready to go. So that's about it. And it's a Trailex trailer is what we're using. Yeah, Trailex trailer. And the reason I picked that, I looked at the home harbor freight trailers and the different places that had trailers and the uh, front corners was not supported enough that I felt for the camper. So instead of having to build a whole bunch of supports and framing and all that to make it sturdy enough, I went ahead and talked my daughter into buying the Trailex and I'm glad she did. It's a solid trailer. It's very solid. I like and it. This is not sponsored by the way. So that's my opinion and we'll see you next week. We'll do some more stuff. All right. Say bye daddy. Bye daddy. <laughs>